KTTC Sports from the CompCare Physical Therapy Sports Wall. Well, on that ComCare Physical Therapy Sports Wall tonight, a full slate of boys' high school basketball action. Quarterfinals now underway in all four classes for Section 1. Let's start with a 4 versus 5 clash in 3A. We got the Albert Lee Tigers taking on the Byron Bears. First time these two are matching up all season, and this time it would not be close. Early on here, Byron already with a big lead and a deep three from Isaac Dearborn would put the Bears up 19 to two midway through the first half. And this is where the Bears would really begin their big run. Dearborn on the kick out here, another three, 26-2, Bears up. Then the very next possession, Dearborn just gonna walk into this one and says, if you sag off, your swag's off. Looking like Chief Meteorologist Nick Jansen at the rack with these threes. Byron up 29-2. to Then Tyler Connolly says, I'll take that. One of many steals Byron had in this first half. Dishes it to Zachary Vanderpool. Throwing it down with one hand. Then off another steal, it's Vanderpool. This time the two-handed flush bears up 40-2. to That's not a typo. The lead would go up to 44 before the Tigers would stop the bleeding here. Guam the all and one is good, but the Byron Blackout sends the Tigers packing. Final score reading 85 to 37. As to who the Bears will play next, that will be one seed Stewartville. The Tigers getting the best of Faribault tonight in a blowout of their own, 69 to 29. That will set up a matchup between the Tigers and Bears, oh my, at Stewartville this Saturday. Other side of the bracket now in 3A, Winona with a drubbing of Cass and Manorville. They will face the Austin Packers, who also beat Red Wing soundly. The semifinal games will both tip Saturday night at 7 in the high seed gym. So it will be, be, it will be Byron at Stewartville and Winona at Austin. Now to the 4A results we go. Lakeville North advances easily to the semis with an 81-39 victory over John Marshall. Meanwhile, Century gets knocked off in double overtime to Owatonna, 80-72. Huskies advance to the semis. They'll take on Lakeville North. Other side of the bracket we go. Mayo's season is done following the loss to Lakeville South, 79-65. South will go on to face Farmington, who in a barn burner boat race Northfield, 101-83. Both games tip at 7 p.m. Saturday in the high seeds gym once again. Now let's head over to the Civic Center Arena. For some 2A action, 7 seed Zombrota Mazeppa takes on 2nd seed Plainview Elgin Millville. Here's Plainview Parker's, Plainview's Parker Maddie there for the rebound, cleaning up the second chance bucket. That would give PEM an early 2-0 lead. Then Brady Herber finding an open Nick Wozniak takes the 3 and drills it, making the score PEM up 5. ZM answering, Zane Angerman from deep. Nails the three. That would give Zambroda their first bucket. Close the deficit to just two. Zambroda now getting momentum. Carter Christopherson all the way, extending, and gets a friendly and one call in my view. That lead would go to 6-5 Zambroda Mazeppa. A little later, Brady Herber. Too much space. Cashes the three there. PEM with a 10-6 lead. And in a tough one here, PEM would hold on. 51-46 over ZM. They move on to the semifinals. So the 3-6 matchup we had next, where it's Chatfield and Caledonia squaring off. Reed Klug, early on here, going to take this one off the bounce. Spin move, pump fake, layup is good. That will put the Warriors up six. Chatfield's turn now on the other end. It's Eli Hopp. He's going to dish it to the corner for Drew Schindler, who's going to knock down the three. That'll put the deficit to three. Other end, here's Garrett Cons going to his right. Getting a little contact there. Still finishes the bucket. Warriors up five after that runner. Then some good ball movement here. Baseline drive by Mason King. Ball gets passed out to Krug. He'll knock it down. Caledonia back up six. Gophers would continue to battle. Again, it's Schindler off the handoff here. Again from deep. That goes down, cuts the Warrior lead to three, but in the end it's Caledonia advancing. They hit timely buckets and win 71-59 over the Gophers. And here's how the semifinals shake up in two way. At four on Saturday, Cannon Falls will take on one seed Lake City. On the other side, 
Plainview Aldrin Millville will have a date with Caledonia. That game starting at 6.30. Both games will be played at the Mayo Civic Auditorium. Now let's head into 1A, where the seventh seed Randolph takes on second seeded Spring Grove in the All Black. We start with Spring Grove's Tyson Grindy driving and my, look at that no look pass. Who does that in a playoff game? Spring Grove of 11. Randolph turns it over here and it's Grindy all along. You already know what he's going to do. Throw it down. Spring Grove now going up 15. Randolph trying to come mount a comeback here. Trey Thielbar, a little bully ball on two defenders there. That would cut the deficit to 13. Spring Grove trying to protect their lead. Elijah Solom going left. And the extension blossoms Spring Grove's lead to 29. Randolph back with possession and steel bar again. More bully ball on the block. He'll finish another tough one in the post. Spring Grove up 29-16, but in a defensive slug it out affair. Spring Grove moving on to the semis, 29-24. Last but not least, another 3-6 matchup, Henry Wanamingo squaring up against Hayfield. Teams that split two meetings during the season. Hayfield goes up early here with a corner three from Trent Jellum. He'll knock that down. Hayfield up three, but Alex Lee for Kenyon says, I'll take that, hand in the cookie jar. 6-2 Hayfield still up. Xander Jacobson now getting double teamed, but somehow he's going to split these defenders. Little bully ball there, gets the runner to go and one. Hayfield back up six, then Jacobson dumping it down to Jellum. Open layup is good, 12-2 Hayfield. Big run to start this game for the Vikings. Here's Isaac Fierstad, everyone getting involved. Dish out from Isaac Maddie. Open three is Cash. Hayfield now up 15-2. to two. They would not look back. Hayfield, total domination, beating Kenny Wanamingo, 77-41. And that's a look at sports. We'll be right back.